right, so the next key feature I want to talk about in Cineware 3 is something called Live Link. And Live Link works between Cinema 4D and Cineware 3 in After Effects. And I do want to mention Live Link only works with a commercial version of Cinema 4D. So it will not work with Cinema 4D Lite, but it's totally worth it. And I'm going to show you why it's worth it in the next uh, minute or so. And you can kind of uh, figure out how you could apply it to your everyday workflow. So I'm in After Effects and I have the new Cineware 3 promo that I created and everything's open in After Effects, including the Cinema 4D layer. And basically with the Cinema 4D layer selected, uh, I'm just gonna go up to the effects control panel and you're gonna see something new called Live Link that we haven't yet seen in past Cineware uh, versions. And what I'm gonna do is just click enable and watch what happens when I hit this. Immediately, Cinema 4D pops open and you'll notice the file that I have loaded in After Effects opened directly in Cinema 4D. And also note that the timeline here is at, say, 474, and we go over to After Effects, and it's at 474 as well. And let me just scale this down here so you can kind of see what's going on. When I move the timeline now in Cinema 4D, say I'll scrub to this next scene at 605, you're gonna see 605 link directly in After Effects. So basically what Live Link does is it syncs up the timelines in both programs simultaneously in real time. And not only can you scrub in Cinema 4D, but if I go over in After Effects and scrub to say 237 here, all of a sudden it's updated to 237 in Cinema 4D, which is awesome. Okay, so really quick, um, a real world situation which happened actually in this project say you know the label needs to be changed out what I can do is let me see here it's label 2 here I can just go ahead and click drag and I know at 237 in this kitchen scene we need the label to change so all I need to do is save that and I'm gonna go back into After Effects and there you go, the label updates in After Effects. I don't need to search out you know, what frame number or make sure everything's in sync. Everything is in sync and we know that because Live Link again is enabled. Okay, sorry, I simplified my timeline here just so I can easily show you the new timeline marker relationship between Cinema 4D and After Effects. So basically all this is is when you're in Cinema 4D and you go ahead and add in a timeline marker, I'm going to go ahead and add one in at frame, say, 30. I'm going to hit save. And when I hop back into After Effects and I extract the Cineware layer, notice we now have uh, the, the timeline marker show up in the After Effects timeline that we created over in Cinema 4D. So that's it. That's Live Link. Very quick, painless, I hope. Um, I showed you how I used it in my workflow, uh, actually on this project that I just finished up. And hopefully you're starting to think about how you can apply it in your workflow as well. Um, that's gonna do it for this section of the new Cineware 3 updates. And be sure to check back and find out all the other new key features that I explained for Cineware 3. Thanks and see you then.